Hey, I'm Valthrunner. Welcome to the updated complete guide for setting up Valthrun for Counter-Strike 2 on Windows 11. This guide will take you through the process of setting up Valthrun, from disabling interfering security features to downloading, installing, and configuring Valthrun for the best enhanced gameplay experience. Valthrun is an open source, external, read-only kernel gameplay enhancer for CS2. Now let's start with what that all means. Open source. Open source means that the code used to compile Valthrun is openly available to everyone. You can look into it at github.com slash Valthrun and decide for yourself if you trust Valthrun. External means that it doesn't inject any DLLs into the target process or anything of that sort. Read only means it doesn't write to the CS2 process in any way, making it impossible to detect by scanning the process memory. Kernel indicates that it doesn't use any user-level Win APIs to get information from the CS2 process. Additionally, Valthron is programmed in the Rust programming language, which is designed to be memory safe. The steps I will show you next are for disabling Windows Defender and core isolation, because these features interfere with KD Mapper. Before we continue, I will briefly explain why we need to use KD Mapper in the first place. KD Mapper is used for mapping the Valthrun driver in the kernel using a vulnerable driver. You might ask why you would do that. The answer is simple. Since VAC, the anti-cheat system of CS2, runs in user mode, it can't access the kernel. Therefore, it can't detect that the Valthrun driver is reading its memory from the kernel. That's why Valthrun is impossible to detect. This behavior is flagged by Defender, and the vulnerable driver is blocked by core isolation. That's why we need to disable these features in the first place. Now, after you disable the interfering security features, we can start with the installation by going to wiki.valth.run, then go to getting started, then all in one script. On that page, the release hyperlink is what you need to click. After that, the run.bat script should be downloaded. Save it to a location you remember and run it. As you can see, Smart Screen will probably tell you that the script isn't signed. Obtaining a certificate for that would cost a couple hundred bucks. And as this project is just for fun and free for everyone, we obviously don't spend that money. Just press on More Info and Run Anyway. Then a request for administrative privileges will pop up. And you need to press Yes, since KD Mapper needs these permissions to map the driver in the kernel. Obviously, this isn't possible with user permissions. The script will start downloading necessary files and auto start CS2 for you. If you encounter any issues, visit the wiki at wiki.valth.run and go to the troubleshooting section. If you still can't get it to work, join the Discord for help. Link in the description. If everything runs smoothly, the controller will open and show a bit of output. Importantly, don't close it, just minimize it, and continue with the setup. Otherwise, the menu isn't able to open. Open the on-screen keyboard like I do it and press the pause key. This will open the menu. As you can see, the menu is hidden in the recording, and I need to disable it for you to see. That's the default option with Valthrun. It will hide from Discord screen share, OBS, and many more, including any desk. Now I will continue with making my settings and then hopping into a round.
As you can see, I changed the recording type to window to get better performance since my PC isn't the best. Now you can't see the Valthorn menu even though screen proof is off. This makes sense because Valthorn is a separate window. So I realized I made a mistake with the trigger bot setting. I forgot to disable the teammate check, which is not ideal for deathmatch, since it's a free-for-all mode. Let's fix that right now.
My disk space ran out at this point. I quickly deleted some files and started the recording again, so you can see the end of the route I As you can see, I won that round with ease. Now I will show you how to remove Valthron without any traces from your system. After deleting all the files, you need to reboot. To also get rid of the driver on your system, because it's impossible to unload it another way, as it's loaded via KD Mapper. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like if you liked it. Dislike if you disliked it. Subscribing is free and would help a lot. Cheers.